That's our first segment of code that we're going to write. I'm going to go through it step by step. In this section of code, we're going to create our variables, including an array, to hold the words that are going to be available for the game. We're going to create a variable to hold a number for the word we are guessing, string for the word that we're actually guessing will hold the current word, and a variable to hold the number. When you create an array, just like C++, you can declare and fill the array at the same time, which we've done here. This is an array of strings. You have six elements that would be referred to by subscript numbers of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In most programming languages, you start counting with 0. Our number variable of the number type will hold a, a we will generate a random number that will be stored there. The random number will pick our word from the array. Once we've selected a word from the array, for example, if the subscript number was 2, because this would be 0, 1, 2, seeking would be the answer, we would store that in the in-progress variable. We would also need to get the number of the letters in the word that we've selected, which you can get by using the word length number, we're going to store it in there and we'll generate that. So these are our variables, words, number, in progress, and word length. We're now going to use them. We're setting number to equal math.floor, which will take and round down, because when you generate a random number in Flash, it generates a decimal. You want it to round down to the nearest whole number. That way, the lowest number we could get would be zero. If we wanted it to count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we would use seal instead of floor, which is short for ceiling. That would round up to the nearest whole number. Since we want to allow 0 to be a number, we round down to floor so that it will round down to the nearest whole number, giving us numbers from 0 through 5 when we multiply by 6. In progress is going to be set to words, which is our array, and it's going to use number, something from 0 to 5, and it will select one of the words from the array. The word length will take that in progress word dot length, which is a function that will operate on the word, and it will get the length of the current word and store it in word length. This is getting us set up where we're ready to go. Before you go further, you should hit the blue check mark, check your syntax, and hopefully you don't have any errors.